Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Paige, here once again with another video on Superman and Lois season, I was going to say season three, but season four. So we are about, what, a third of the way through the year, roughly, uh, we're in April, I'm sorry, about halfway into April, yeah, and almost to the end of filming, ever, ever, for Superman and Lois. We're about to, head, uh, about to head into the final week of filming for Superman and Lois with a rough end date of April 22nd, uh, you know, that's still been the final day of filming from what I've seen for the show at this point. Don't know if that changed. Could go a day or two longer. Could maybe end a day early. I don't know. But it will be interesting to see if anything is posted when it comes to, like, it ending on the filming side of thing, of course. Or if that is just kept between the people who make the show and they have their own celebrations and stuff like that. And we are waiting for, you know, later into the year, whenever that might be, to get anything from the show. That's a wait and see, I guess. But as the cast and crew head into that final week and just the final stages as a whole of the show's production, we have some news and information to go over that I've gathered over the past, you know, past week or so. Though there is one thing here, which is something that people might think is cool to see that slipped under my radar for some reason. So it's a few weeks old, but I haven't seen anyone talk about it or seen anyone else just really reference it. So I thought I'd include it, even though it's like a few weeks old in some, you know, mix it in with this more recent stuff. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts and everything we go over and any different opinions you might want to leave. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, drop a like, takes two seconds. So the first thing is just in regards to the series finale. So we don't have any like major set photos or anything like that. We just have some minor information. Don't even have the title, which is, you know, can be a very interesting sometime, uh, thing sometimes. Like what's the title of the series finale? Who knows? It could just be called Superman. I don't know. But the, we have the director, but it's not, it's not a new name. We haven't got like whoever it might be <laughs> like a new, you know, identity directing it. It's a familiar face or a familiar name when it comes to the show of Superman Lois as he's done a handful or a decent amount of episodes over the show's run. And Gregory Smith will be directing the series finale or episode 10. The reminder, there's only 10 episodes in the final season. So yeah, he's directing the series finale. He's also directing a couple of episodes prior to this. Um, or no, you know, like, like literally a couple of episodes prior to this, I think he's three and seven, I think it is. And we'll reference some of that stuff in a bit as well. Um, uh, more stuff to do with those episodes and just him as well. Um, but yeah, he's directing the series finale. Yep. So that's all we know at this time, but we'll see what happens over the next week or so as they film that final episode. But speaking of filming, uh, there was some stuff posted online about like them filming at the Smallville Fairgrounds, which is highlighted through Alex Garfin's Instagram, both on the story and on just the regular feed or posting photos and stuff side of things. Of course, Alex Garfin does play Jordan Kent on the show. And many people think this is for the finale or maybe episode nine, which is the second last episode that they were just, I think actually they might still be on episode nine, just finishing it up. And then they're about to move into the, into the finale. I'm not too sure. But in the Instagram post he put up, he did reveal that he actually shadow directed or just shadowed Gregory Smith when he was directing an episode who we just pointed out is also directing this series finale or episode 10. But Alex does note he did this in the past tense. So this was most likely the previous episode that Gregory Smith directed, which appeared to be episode seven, as I sort of referenced before of this season. So he's not shadowing the finale. He shadowed episode seven, might've been a bit of a more calm episode and also an episode where maybe there's not a ridiculous amount of Jordan in the, in the episode. Maybe it's about some other stuff. Um, episode seven, I think is also meant to be the episode where like, Jimmy Olsen appears for the first time as well. So that'll make a sense if there's a lot of flashbacks and stuff that Jordan wouldn't be in that episode a lot. So it makes sense that he'd have the time and the availability to just go and shadow the director for the week. Now, normally like a shadow director sometimes is, you know, someone that's on the cast, but is about to direct an episode. So for example, on Flash, Arrow, Legends, Supergirl and stuff, you know, if Melissa Benoist or you know, uh, Daniel Panabaker or like Katie Lotz or something like that was going to, or like David Ramsey was going to direct an episode. Uh, like the first time they were going to direct an episode, they'd shadow whoever either the episode before them, or maybe just an episode where their character wasn't going to be prevalent in that episode. And they had the time just so they got a bit more of a feel of what it was going to be like. So obviously this just means, I guess, Alex Garfin has an idea of getting into the directing side of things, so get a feel for it. Now, I'm not sure if there were any, like, theories, I guess you could say, for the fairgrounds aspect and their use in the episode or anything like that, because I think this location was, or has been used a couple of times, but is even used for, like, a small thing between Sarah and Kyle in a previous season, so it shouldn't be, like, that much to look at, um... But yeah, like I don't think that or anything of the other photos that Alex posted has to do with the finale. I think it's all involving moments from episode seven. There was even a shot of like 
looks to be like Superman and Lex Luthor, but it could just be Clark and Lex Luthor, you know, talking to each other before they film. Uh, but it also could have even been an earlier episode that Gregory Smith directed because I, I, as I said before, he's directed a couple before the series finale. I think he directed the third or fourth episode of the season, um, something like that. So, you know, this stuff could be even earlier. Alex Garvin doesn't indicate what episode it was that he shadowed, but it feels like it was episode seven because it feels like it was probably more recent than, you know, distant ago, like some of those earlier episodes of the season. But speaking of filming, we did get some set photos. Yes, set photos have been a very scarce thing, not just for this season, but m much more this season, but just Superman Lois as a whole, we don't get that many set photos. We did, we did get some interesting ones, which actually showcase that this character will be doing stuff in this final season. That involves steel. And it appears to be John Henry Irons. I think this is the John Henry Irons suit. But we got some steel set photos from uh, Hollywood North Buzz uh, or like like the YVR shoots, is it? I think, oh no, that, that might be a different one. I'm not too sure, but it was, I'll leave the link to where I got the, the, the photos in the description down below. I can't remember exactly which one it is, but we got some set photos from what appears to be episode eight based off not only when the photos were put up, but also the director. So who's directing the episode? Well, it's Lex Luthor himself, that being Michael Cudlitz. And for what we know, he's directing episode eight. So it, it seems that it's Gregory Smith is doing episode seven. Michael Cudlitz is doing episode eight, and then Jai Jameson is going to be directing episode nine from what we know, which is also the penultimate episode, which should be the episode that they're just finishing up now, or they've just finished and they're about to move into the finale. But as you can see in the said photos, it is still going to a turned over car. And there were some like instructions that like Michael Cudlitz was directing to the actor who's in the car, I guess, and that's to sort of look through, I think it is, or something like that, or it could be in direction to steel, but it's like to look through the windshield and stuff like that. I don't know if this car is meant to be familiar in any way, or if he's stopping someone from getting away or he's saving someone. I'm not too sure. The context for it is hard to tell because the car doesn't look that overly familiar. Could be either. He could be stopping someone, he could be saving someone, or a bit of a mixture of the two. I'm not too sure. But the one thing we can tell is that Michael Cudlitz is still rocking the bearded Lex Luthor. There was a lot of talk about whether Lex Luthor is going to be, you know, shaving down and looking a bit more, you know, clean shaven, if you want to put it. I'm not too sure, but he's still rocking the beard, but he still has like the, it's bald, but I think it's like, he maybe not, might not have filmed as Lex Luthor for like a week or two. So the hair's started to grow. Cause I think there's, he's got some like short hair going on. So maybe when they then go to film again with Lex Luthor, he maybe you know, trims it down or shaves it more, you know, with a razor and everything like that. But um, yeah, this co does confirm at the very least that he's still rocking the beard and everything like that. But then we also did get some like minor stuff, which, uh, you know, people overseas or just like, I guess if you're a big fan of the show, you'd be more interested in. Uh, and as I said, like, if you want to go, there is some more photos, by the way, and there's some video. I was going to show the video, but I thought that might be too much. So I'll, I'll give the shout out to the people that got the photos. There is um a video of this scene playing out on that uh, the website that provide these photos. So as I said, the link will be in the description down below. But yeah, that other news, um, just some two minor things that have nothing to do with season four, but funnily enough have to do with season three. So the first thing is that the season three Blu-ray or Superman Lois season three, the Blu-ray is coming and it will release sometime in June. Now we don't have any details on like the special features side of thing, which is always one of my, you know, big things when I'm, um, if, if I'm going to buy a Blu-ray, especially for a TV show, because a lot of times it's on a streaming service that you have anyway, normally. So for example, if you're an American, you just go to HBO Max or whatever uh, to watch Superman Lois season three. But if you get the Blu-ray, it does come with those added features that can be like a selling point for it. We don't have any details. I'm assuming it's some basic stuff, like usually like deleted scenes, if there is any, maybe a gag reel, if that's there. And then, yeah, because it's season three, there might be like something to do with Bizarro. But then again, that was in season two. So maybe something to do with Doomsday. I'm not too sure exactly which road they go down on. But from what we know so far, there's no added detail. So we don't know specifically what's going on the special features side of thing. There could be some little things, but I'd expect just the basic stuff that seems to be, especially nowadays, we're not just like, you know, just specifically Superman and Lois, but a lot of home media, they are really trimming down it, which is unfortunate, but they might provide us with a couple of different things. But the final thing, once again, to do with season three, and this mainly has to do with, well, British or just the UK, United Kingdom, and season three of Superman Lois is finally coming to the United Kingdom sometime this month. That being April, just in case you are watching this at a later point, so it's going to be in April at some point. Uh, the BBC, I think it's going to be a BBC iPlayer. They have it listed as an April release, but no specific date. Okay, this is... 
this is me in the future. This is future Pagey interrupting this video like three hours later or something or four hours later. Uh, Bitsy Tullock just tweeted out that April 21st is the release date. She tweeted this out like, yeah, like a couple of hours after I recorded the video and then I just saw it then quickly just jumped on to quickly record this. So yeah, it's coming out April 21st. So depending on when I upload this, maybe just over a week from now. So if you're in the uh, the UK, you haven't watched it yet um, or you want to rewatch it and everything like that, BBC iPlayer will have it on April 21st. Um, so yeah, there you go. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. That's it to go over in this video. Uh, yeah, as I said, there's not a ridiculous amount coming out in regards to Superman Laws, mainly because we are so far away from it airing on screen, um, but we can talk about what we will. Um, but I'm sure we'll be talking about at least one video probably over the next handful, like next week or so, as they move into the finale and then wrap up filming of the show. I'm sure there'll be at least one video, maybe two videos to talk about some stuff from there. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, it'd be awesome. If you could drop a like and show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts and everything will run over. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.